Is the number of kids that you currently have as many kids as you actually wanted? And I'm not talking about infertility issues or anything like that, but I'm actually asking you if maybe you wanted another baby or you wanted a ton of kids when you were a lot younger, when you were a child yourself. I myself, when I was a little girl, I always wanted to have six kids. And then somewhere along the way, this is this is what happens. So I'm just curious if it's the same for you too, is that you suddenly learn where babies come from. You suddenly learn how birth is like typically taught in mainstream. And then you think, mm, maybe I'll just have one. Maybe I'll go through and I'll have two. But I don't want to go through that again. Or maybe you thought that you were going to have three kids and then you go and you have a really traumatic birth with your first and you think, no, I think I'm done at one. Well, I'm just going to ask you, are you letting fear hold you back on getting the family that you really want? Because this is what happened for my friend Jenny. But she said that after the birth of her first, she had been so convinced that she was not going to have another baby again. She did not want what happened to her to happen again. She was also older. She was in her late, late 30s, almost 40s when she had her first baby. And she was now 41 and she was thinking to herself, I probably won't have another one. I'm probably just going to have to heal and find out what happened to me and just help other moms get the birth that they want without having to fight beggar compromise. But it's not going to be my story. I'm, I'm done after one. But the more we work together, because as I said, Jenny's my partner, and you can check that out on my website, empoweringmomsbirth.com, about section, where I actually share bits of her story. And she just, she said that she realized as she was going through and learning about how birth could be and watching our clients go through and our students go through the program and what she was learning on the live classes every week. And she's like, you know, like, I, I'm not going to give the hospitals and the maternity care system the satisfaction of taking something from me. She had always wanted to have more than one baby. She didn't want her daughter to be an only child. It was the birth trauma and what happened to her and the way that she had been disempowered in the system that had had her thinking that she didn't want more. The same thing with Christine. After her traumatic cesarean, she had also said similar things to me, how she didn't want to do it again. I myself was the opposite. I was like, there is no way in hell that I'm going to let what happened to me happen again. And at the same time, I'm not going to let that stop me from having the family that I want. I'm going after my do-over home birth. And then there's other moms who have had C-section after C-section. And they're like, you know what? I want one more baby because I want that experience. I want to have my natural birth. And they're being told that they can't do it. And if that's true for you, if you actually, in your heart, you're thinking to yourself, I'm not done yet. I have one more baby in me and I'm just really scared. Then I'm going to invite you to have a conversation with me. Let me know where you're at and if there's anything I can do to help you. Because I don't want you to have to limit your family just because of birth trauma. That sucks. You deserve to have as many kids as you want. And if that number isn't where you're at right now and you feel that you could do it, you could have another one if you had the tools and the resources, then absolutely, I want to help you, okay? Because, you know, I believe you can do this. I love you.